everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to go over a question we received from one of our YouTube subscribers and it was about re-entering the nursing field after you've been out of the profession for a while. I want to discuss some common fears you may be having. I'm going to talk about how nursing changes so quickly and then I'm going to cover some transition tips that you should keep in mind before you re-enter the nursing field. So first, let's talk about some common fears you may be having, because let's face it, a lot of people, they take themselves out of the nursing profession to either care for their children, to um, care for family members, maybe they got sick themselves, battled cancer, or they want to pursue a different career path. Many people leave the profession for a while and then decide to re-enter it. But even if you've been gone, six months, 20 years, you can still all have the same fears. And some fears a lot of people have are, am I going to be overwhelmed by all the changes? And the longer you've been out, the more changes you'll face, but you're gonna feel like, man, am I gonna be able to do this? Cause you know a lot of stuff has changed. And you're gonna question yourself, you're gonna say, do I still possess my nursing skills? Man, I haven't started an IV in 15 years. Am I gonna be able to do it? And you may also feel like, Am I gonna fit in with the new culture of nurses coming in with these new grads? Are they gonna be more advanced than me? Here I am, I have at least 10 years under my experience, but I feel like I'm not even that experienced anymore. So those are some fears that you may have, and hopefully I can help you overcome those fears. And let's talk about how the nursing profession changes so quickly. I remember whenever I went out on maternity leave, in my state we're allowed to go on maternity leave for four months, which is very nice considering I hear some states it's like six weeks. But um, I, whenever I went back after four months, some things had changed, not majorly changed, but I was like, wow, I'd just been gone for four months and I could see how, you know, there's some documentation changes, protocol changes, things like that. So if you've been out even longer, I know that you're gonna be wondering, wow, what changes am I gonna encounter? But nursing, it's always constantly rapidly changing. But the key to remember is that your nursing skills and caring for people does not change. You have to have that. The only thing that's really changed around you are your surroundings, the equipment you, you're using, maybe some protocols here and there, and you just have to relearn that stuff. So let's talk about some transition tips. Okay, first thing you'll wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have your not nursing knowledge refreshed. And there are many ways you can do that because if you've been out for a while, things have changed. I know from when I first started being a nurse till now, things have majorly changed, especially how we deal with catheters. You know, hardly anyone gets a catheter nowadays because of infections and how we deal with um, congestive heart failure patients, things like that. A lot of things have changed the way that we practice some areas of nursing have changed. So you wanna make sure you either do some of these things to refresh, refresh your knowledge. There are what are called RN reentry programs. These programs are really good for people who have been out of the profession for a while. And a lot of states actually require you to take these in order to enter back in to the profession. So make sure you check with your state that you don't have to take one of these programs. But these programs are usually offered by universities. You would have to get on and see just what I recommend doing is going to Google or a search engine and typing in RN reentry programs and put your state's name and see what it brings up because a lot of these programs are geared, they give you clinical hours, you learn um, lecture with like um, different theories, you learn documentation techniques and clinical skills, things like that to help just refresh you and get you up to speed with what you've missed while you've been gone. Next, you can um, also do some continuing education classes. And um, a good website for this is rn.com. Every month they offer like free classes you can take. It's completely online. And then you get a certificate with hours that you can actually count for your nursing license. So that just helps keep you up to speed with things that are going on and helps refresh your knowledge. Next, you'll want to, of course, get CPR and ACLS certified. A lot of hospitals nowadays, even if you're not working in the ICU, they want you to be both CPR and ACLS certified. So, and it's just a good refresher, especially the ACLS, to make sure that you know how to handle a code situation and things that have changed. Because in the last five years, it's no longer, you know, with CPR it used to be airway, breathing, circulation, 
the ABCs, now it's CAB, C-A-B, Circulation Airway Breathing, and some things have changed. And the same with ACLS, especially drugs used and everything like that. So you wanna make sure you get recertified on that. And many RN reentry programs offer that with that. And um, you'll want, whenever you get hired on with your employer, a lot of employers, if you work for a hospital, they will offer education courses for you to take. Usually they're free and you get paid to attend them. Like for instance, you could take um, a class on cardiac drips, a class on diabetes management, um, lots of classes just to help refresh your nursing knowledge. So look into that once you get hired on to make sure that you're up to speed with everything. Okay, next, whenever you do get hired on, I really recommend if you've been out of the profession at least 10 years or longer that you request an orientation period that is similar to like a new grad. Hopefully the employer will already offer that to you since I'll see that you've been out for a while. And why I say that is so you get a lot more orientation time instead of just being in orientation for like a week or two. If you'd been working for a while, that's typically what a person who gets hired on as has, that's their only orientation. But a new grad typically maybe gets a month of orientation and you'll be required to take courses that will expose you to like the new equipment because that's the biggest thing whenever you're re-entering the nursing field. You're gonna be using different like IV supplies, um, tubings, cardiac monitors and things like that. And you need to be exposed to these different types of equipment and supplies and protocols um, like heparin protocols, pick line protocols, and all these classes will expose you to all this and computer programs. Because another thing that has definitely changed in the past 10 years is that most hospitals are computer. We do everything on the computer. We do our care plans, we document, we do our vital signs, we enter in doctor's orders through the computer, um, everything. And you want to make sure that you're up to speed with that and giving medicines. That's a big thing we do now is everything with medications is through a computer and a scanner. And um, so those are just some things that you might just wanna request to make sure you get a good orientation time so you don't get overwhelmed. Um, next is have confidence. Remember, like I said at the beginning of this, nursing, I like to compare it, it's like riding a bike. If you've been out of riding a bike for a while and you go back and ride it, you know, you might be a little rusty at first, but it's like clicks, it's like, oh yeah, I remember this. And that's how nursing is. You can be out of the profession for a while, but once you go back, you know, you may be a little overwhelmed at first, but your skills and everything, it's all gonna start clicking and coming back to you. So just remember that and have confidence in yourself because you can do this, you've done it before, you just have to get used to everything else that has just changed around you, but you know how to take care of this patient, you know how to care for the patient. So just believe in yourself. And then um, about the adjustment period, I really recommend give yourself at least six months to adjust to everything. Because think of it like whenever you were a new grad, whenever you first graduated from nursing school. Remember that? It might be a long time ago, but remember how you were overwhelmed at first. You thought, man, will I ever learn this stuff? And then eventually it clicked and you got it. And you look back at yourself after a year and you're like, wow, I'm actually a nurse. I can do this. So just whenever you're re-entering, just remember that you can do this. Just give yourself some time and it will click. And last but not least, you will find out, especially if you've been out more than 10 years, that some of those changes that you're seeing that you're coming back in the hospital or wherever you're going to work, that they're actually good changes. You'll see that it saves time. You can say, oh man, why, why didn't we do that years ago? Or that's what I thought we should have done years ago. And you'll find out that actually a lot of these changes make your job a little bit easier and you can see why they are good. So those are some tips on how to transition if you're re-entering the nursing field. Just to recap, I really recommend you refresh your nursing knowledge, give yourself some time to adjust, and just remember and believe in yourself. You are a nurse, you know how to do this. It's just like riding a bike, and all you have to do is just get adapt to your surroundings, figure out how, what goes where, the supplies, equipment, and you will catch on and give yourself time. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.